thank you for invitation, uh, for possibility to present our results. I will speak about uh, three separate works which were made with uh, uh, different course, uh, courses, uh, but uh, and, uh, the, the title of the talk is um, related with the second work. But uh, but uh, you will see uh, b uh, there are some uh, uh, relations between the second and the third. But I will start from this. Uh, 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 this is picture maybe the most uh, well known in about the structure of the web but uh, it's, it appeared in the uh, work in, in the paper of the band of eight uh, authors and it's about uh, uh, more uh, generally it's about the uh, organization about the global organization of uh, uh, arbitrary uh, directed networks. Uh, you can see, uh, I will not even explain uh, what does mean strongly connected uh, component, uh, in co giant in component, giant out component, because it's quite visible from this uh, picture. But uh, you see that about uh, a part of this, uh, apart from this uh, giant component, uh, there are uh, s uh, smaller, uh, s uh, smaller objects uh, uh, which they call tendrils and tubes, uh, uh, which uh, tubes uh, uh, go around the a strongly connected component and uh, uh, tendrils they go out from the in component and in tendrils they go e into out component and uh, is maybe it's not uh, well uh, visible but uh, these authors uh, they uh, I think it was uh, about the uh, network uh, obtained from Alexa uh, engine which now uh, doesn't exist and uh, the, uh, you see that there is uh, numbers uh, indicating uh, uh, 56 million uh, nodes in the strongly connected components uh, equal number of nodes uh, of pages in in and out components and uh, some number of 44 million nodes in tendrils and in tubes. But if you read that work, you will see that actually uh, uh, what, uh, 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 when they counted uh, these 44 million of nodes in tendrils, they mean actually the, uh, how many nodes are inside of the weakly connected component if we exclude uh, this in, uh, out, and strongly connected components from it, so that it was a mixture of tendrils, tubes, and something <coughs> other. And these uh, numbers uh, showing uh, that the in and out component are equal are only for th that network, because afterwards people found that for other uh, network for even for other uh, domains of the web, it's possible that you have very strong asymmetry in this picture, in this bow tie uh, diagram. Uh, the in component can be much smaller than out and uh, component and vice versa. Uh, the the, uh, 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 the sizes of this uh, of gen components uh, uh, we calculated it uh, immediately after this uh, picture emerged, and we made it for uh, tree-like, uh, for locally tree-like graph. But uh, it's uh, it was convenient to consider the uh, strongly connected component as, as overlap of in and out components, so it's a bit uh, different 
definition. But uh, nonetheless, uh, let us return to the first uh, picture and try to understand how these tendrils are organized. Uh, or better to say, how the, uh, how the uh, giant uh, uh, weakly connected components uh, uh, is organized uh, after we exclude the giant uh, in out and uh, strongly connected components and this is the uh, and this pi and this uh, color picture is just uh, indic uh, shows you schematically how uh, these tendrils are organized uh, I even will not uh, try to uh, give uh, it, it to define as the objects on this uh, uh, figure uh, because it's possible uh, very clear to see from it uh, what does mean this uh, tendrils of the first layer, second layer, and so on. And our aim will be study this uh, uh, the sizes of these uh, objects, uh, these tendrils and tubes, in different uh, layers for different networks. So uh, we, are, uh, we are simply study uh, the organization and statistics, better say, these tendrils. Another representation of the same of the previous figure is here uh, simply uh, this, uh, the tendrils in different layers, they aggregate uh, together. And uh, again, uh, you can treat uh, this uh, already tendril uh, tubes as overlaps of uh, in and out tendrils in, uh, for each level. So uh, uh, I will not uh, formally show you algorithm uh, how we made that, but uh, uh, the idea, uh, oh, uh, uh, maybe one point is important, uh, that this scheme uh, is show, uh, it shows the complete uh, uh, decomposition of the weakly connected uh, component of the joint weakly connected component. Uh, every no each node belongs to one of these uh, joint components or one of these tendrils. And there is no extra node. So it's a way how you can uh, decompose your network. And uh, w w when we uh, uh, search for these uh, tendrils, we made the following. Uh, suppose uh, uh, we want to find uh, tendrils in the first layer. It's uh, what do you do? We simply take the, the uh, your network and uh, you change the direction of uh, of um, edges for uh, inside of. Uh, the uh, unification of in, out, and strongly connected component. And th then you find the, the giant in component and out component in this new network uh, 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 with part of uh, edge uh, 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 with inverse taken uh, with inverse uh, direction. And then uh, from the resulting in-out components, you subtract this uh, the original in and out gen components. And the result will be give you just uh, in tendrils, out tendrils, and uh, overlap with in-out tubes. So it's a very easy algorithm, and you can apply it uh, directly to 
uh, network, and you can uh, combine it with uh, message passing uh, calculations. Uh, we made it in both way. So uh, here the plot showing the sizes of uh, of in out uh, components for three networks for uh, directed Erdos-Renner graph for uh, actually rather small Gnutella P to P to P, to P network already doesn't exist but uh, and uh, in uh, even in C elegance and uh, you just see that uh, that uh, although for at the Schreiner graph, you have symmetric situation where, uh, where in and out components are equal. Uh, and by the way, this uh, uh, strongly connected component, you see that emerged in the same po point, of course, as in and out component. And its uh, critical index of uh, its size is 2, is square. Singularity. And, uh, but uh, here, for example, you see that this uh, this very strong difference already between in and out components. So uh, here already uh, found according to the, uh, 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 with that algorithm, the number of tendrils in uh, different uh, uh, layers. And for uh, for these uh, three networks, and uh, you see that actually when uh, th uh, th uh, this P is simply we take the original network and eliminate from it a one minus P vertices at random. So when P is one, you see that for example in C elegans there is uh, no this tendril. Uh, but uh, you also see that the number of these layers in tendency it's increasing uh, when we're approaching the uh, threshold. Uh, and uh, there are uh, up to 10 layers for this uh, rather small, even for small network, as Nutella. And also, uh, you can uh, find uh, from this, uh, by using this algorithm, the sizes of uh, these uh, tendrils, yes. statistics, uh, 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 the number of tendrils in these layers, and, uh, uh, the number of vertices within tendrils, different layers. And you see that when network is not spoiled, practically only the first layer of tendrils is present. And uh, when it's, uh, 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 when we are approaching uh, the, uh, the network, uh, th this threshold, the point of the birth of the, uh, of this uh, gen components, of strong of, of directed gen components, you see that the uh, uh, the number of layers is increasing, and even small uh, uh, some very small tendrils are uh, in upper layers are present. You see that here is a very small numbers. It's simply uh, when you uh, spoil your network introduces uh, uh, a, a random uh, random uh, uh, damage you uh, we simply uh, we uh, we repeated uh, these uh, calculations for many uh, uh, realizations of this damage so these numbers can be uh, much smaller than the inverse number of uh, vertices in your network. So it's just uh, was about the 
structure of uh, tangents, of organization of tangents, and of statistics of tangents in this network. And now I am passing to the second part of my talk, uh, to uh, simplicial uh, uh, complexes and manifolds, and uh, uh, how we uh, we model and how we uh, generate manifolds and surfaces by using uh, ideas taken from uh, complex networks. So it was uh, uh, simply I uh, think that you know that uh, what does mean manifolds and uh, the uh, that uh, you can represent them in this way as a uh, as simplicial complexes and each simplex is a, a d plus one a, a clique a d, a d simplex is a d plus one uh, clique graph and uh, but most of our uh, results were about uh, uh, surfaces and their triangulations so it's simply a particular case of manifolds. And uh, this uh, sounds uh, pathetic, but it's uh, right. And uh, uh, triangulation is a particular case of a planar graph, but uh, you understand that it's very strong uh, constraint that uh, uh, none, uh, that it is uh, this uh, uh, constraint that uh, it consists of, of only of triangles, there's no squares, nothing more, and we will see that it uh, change very strongly the uh, 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 space uh, dimension of uh, these objects. Big uh, because in uh, from quantum gravity is uh, well known that typical random planars are four dimensional. I mean that the Hausdorff uh, dimension is four, typically. Uh, uh, and here it will be not the case. So uh, the first uh, work in this direction was this one. And the idea was to grow the triangulations uh, from uh, their borders in the following way. We uh, simply we attach triangles or we create or we create triangles. We attach a new triangle to a border or we uh, or we connect two second neighbors by a new edge and uh, creating a new face. And uh, actually, I'm uh, uh, when we treat these networks by using um, uh, uh, simply uh, ideas from complex networks, we are all the time, uh, time have a, uh, uh, have a uh, temptation to forget that, uh, that triangulations are actually about their faces, yes. Uh, but we uh, want to speak about vertices, but uh, we must be careful. We will uh, later, we'll see that it's dangerous. So, three questions. Uh, the first is uh, about uh, local structure. It's uh, a bit boring about uh, the degree distribution, clustering coefficient, and uh, 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 correlations of degrees. It's not very uh, interesting, and it can be made analytically exactly, explicitly, actually. But second question is uh, the most important in uh, actually about networks. Uh, what is its uh, dimension? Because it's, uh, this is uh, what 
it differs uh, the most impressively uh, one network from another small world network or uh, small world or large world how large and uh, two uh, two more leading uh, dimensions will uh, uh, which we are interested in will be Hausdorff and spectral dimension this Hausdorff is in our case it, it coincides with Hausdorff dimension, uh, what we will discuss, but um, uh, Hausdorff dimension will be something different. And, uh, and the third point is topology. Topology is, uh, no, in terms of real uh, topology, uh, in terms of uh, standard uh, about the property for space uh, which are preserved uh, with continuous d d deformations uh, how uh, this sphere with uh, many handles and uh, ch changing and we will have objects of this kind so uh, our idea is to consider all possible transformations of triangulations, uh, uh, which uh, keep there to be uh, triangulations. And the most uh, known uh, transformation, and the minimal uh, transformation of this uh, uh, kind is so-called uh, uh, partner moves. Uh, but uh, you see that there are three of them, and people believe that it's mi really minimal, but it's not quite right because as there is a, uh, this transformation, uh, splitting of, a, uh, of two adjacent edges in triangulation. So you, you create two new phases here, or you eliminate. Uh, these two phases, you merge them. So there are only two moves, and you can uh, use uh, this transformation all also to uh, to transform uh, to make any possible transformations without uh, the same topology. Suppose that we uh, have uh, a triangulations homeomorphic to sphere. Uh, if we have another triangulation of this kind, then uh, we can find a chain of transformation of this kind, for example, or of uh, all partner moves, or combinations of both them, and which transforms them in continuous uh, step by step. Yes, but uh, if we have a uh, triangulation uh, homeomorphic to torus, uh, to, to, uh, then we cannot uh, move in this way to uh, triangulations homeomorphic to sphere. So uh, uh, this is very naive version of local uh, uh, curvature, uh, which uh, which is uh, coincides with uh, simply degree of a vertex when degree is uh, 6, as you have a locally, uh, z, uh, z, uh, the local curvature is uh, 0. So w we can say that when uh, we have, a, say, a hub, it means uh, we have a very a curved space in this place. Yes, uh, and how our models are organized? Uh, in a very simple way. We simply we choose some uh, vertex or edge or, or face or some uh, local uh, environment of these objects. And we choose them at random, uniformly at random, or we choose with them with some preference uh, in preferential way and then we apply uh, to this uh, a, a, a local uh, group uh, we apply 
these transformations or some other transformations of this kind. And uh, in this way, uh, uh, we can create uh, a, uh, a zoo, we can develop uh, a zoo of uh, various models of this kind, and we choose them simply uh, very different because we wanted to get a different space and Hausdorff dimension. We just uh, uh, we, hope, we hoped first when we studied that that we will get just Hausdorff uh, dimension four as in uh, standard uh, random planar graphs in quantum gravity. So we, the, uh, the idea was that uh, we should get four. So we uh, we played with uh, different. Uh, the transformations and some of them uh, they produce equilibrium models. Uh, suppose it's uh, small, but uh, maybe uh, I can uh, say by words. Uh, you simply I you choose uh, some uh, triangle, uh, some face, and insert uh, into it a new vertex and create inside three faces. And uh, uh, you can make it in both ways by randomly choosing this triangle, for example. It's one possibility to get uh, equilibrium. Uh, and another possibility is to make the following. Suppose that uh, you have a triangulation. Then you choose at random, or for example, a, a uniformly at random, two faces. And merge them together. Uh, these phases, uh, they can be very far from each other on the opposite uh, sides of uh, your manifold. And you merge together, and then uh, you eliminate these two phases, uh, annihilate them. Then you will have already a hole, uh, a warm hole, you would better say, uh, um, uh, as when uh, uh, a tube oh, I don't know, inside of uh, your this surface, so you will change topology from, uh, say, from a, uh, from a triangulation homeomorphic to uh, to a sphere. Uh, you will get triangulation homeomorphic to. Uh, torus and so on, and you can then increase more and more. Uh, so it's uh, about uh, how, uh, th the problem with this uh, uh, with uh, uh, dimensions that there is no uh, analytical way to find them. The, all the results known for this. Uh, for um, uh, for uh, Hausdorff, actually, and for spectral dimensions, also they were obtained for only for trees, or uh, for some very exotic uh, triangulations, say, uh, or more general for exotic simplicial complexes, uh, which can be reduced to. Uh, two trees. So unfortunately, uh, there is only one way to make simulations uh, to uh, to uh, to generate very large uh, network and to measure and to look how the number of uh, vertices within the sphere uh, in this network of radius say uh, R. Uh, v uh, uh, varies with this radius, uh, how it grows. At first sight, uh, it's for different models from previous slide, but it's not important. At first sight, all them, they look uh, like power law, but uh, and so at first sight, uh, they all uh, should be finite uh, dimensional. But when you look at uh, more carefully, 
and to look at a log log uh, plot of the same uh, of the same figure, uh, you will see that uh, some of them uh, they uh, never have uh, even for very large networks they will have no uh, this plateau part. Uh, this uh, part uh, just shows that uh, we we have already a finite uh, dimensional uh, object, and when we have uh, this peak, it means that uh, uh, maybe this uh, plateau will emerge uh, if we pass to very large uh, networks uh, uh, which are not approachable in simulations. In simulations, uh, our students made it up to 10 power 7, so it's not enough. And the same uh, can be made for spectral dimensions uh, for ordinary Laplace operator. Uh, uh, we look how it behaves at small values of, uh, of eigen value. Uh, by the way, it's not quite trivial. Uh, because uh, it turns out uh, that uh, close to uh, at the very sm at the range of very small eigen uh, values, it's uh, there is some uh, deviation from linear behavior due to finite size effect, uh, which is not only affects the position uh, of the lowest eigen. Z the second lowest, z the lowest is zero, as you know. But only it only changes this, uh, it spoils this linear dependence close to the smallest eigen vector. But nonetheless, uh, it's just show. And uh, maybe I am immediately tell about uh, these networks with varying topology. We simply uh, generated it uh, by using combination of um, some of these uh, tra trans uh, transformations uh, like partner, uh, partner moves or other ones. And plus we just we, uh, we merged and annihilated uh, phases uh, like I and the number of uh, these uh, wormholes uh, grew in linear way in this way. And you see that, uh, uh, that uh, degree distributions, uh, I simply uh, didn't show these degree distributions for our uh, models uh, which were made, uh, which were obtained analytically. For this model, I was lazy to get it. It was uh, possible to make it analytically, by the way, uh, exactly. But I, I didn't make it. It's a result of simulations. And you see some hint on a condensation phenomena, which actually, unfortunately, analytically, I didn't check. I, I, I think that actually uh, there is no condensation still. So it's for future work. But uh, uh, this just uh, shows the set of uh, for various models from the zoo, a set of uh, Hausdorff and spectral dimensions, as uh, it should be spectral dimension cannot be larger than Hausdorff, uh, but it's um, uh, it was uh, possible to observe that we have a spectrum of different uh, d uh, Hausdorff and spectral dimensions. And uh, they are not uh, four, for example. These are, uh, some of them they are, can be smaller. And actually, we can even vary uh, parameters of our models. We can vary continuously these dimensions in some cases. So, but this is more uh, uh, representative. Yes. For, for equilibrium triangulations, we had no 
uh, solid results for, uh, for Hausdorff dimensions because our equilibrium uh, networks were essentially smaller than growing quant because for equilibrium you must uh, relax your system. And it turned out that this relaxation is very slow and uh, we, it was uh, difficult to approach it. But nonetheless, for this model which I describe to you for, uh, for creating, uh, for creating uh, a vertex within a face uh, and, uh, and vice versa, uh, and uh, we get kind of uh, Hausdorff dimension is was about two, and spectral is about one point four, and I uh, uh, can indicate some parallel with equilibrium random trees, ensemble of equilibrium random trees. It's simply. Uh, you consider all possible trees, uh, of, of, for example, of given size, and each member of this ensemble has uh, the same statistical weight of, of for example, one. Uh, and uh, for them, it's known that uh, Hausdorff dimension is two. It's two uh, dimensional graph in, in Hausdorff dimension in sense and spectral uh, dimension is 4 divided by 3. Here we have kind of that. <coughs> yes, uh, so I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, um, I, 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 I don't want to make some intermediate conclusions, uh, but uh, I simply pass to another problem uh, concerned the, the uh, concerned uh, some kind of uh, surfaces and networks uh, uh, which uh, uh, I, uh, enclosed within these surfaces. But it's very different problems. Uh, and it's related to self-assembling systems. Uh, the point is that, uh, that uh, now, in uh, nanotechnology, uh, when they produce uh, drugs, and they use the following trick. They uh, are trying to create some kind of boxes, small boxes with holes the, uh, into which they put the drugs, and uh, kind of that. So uh, what they make th uh, in, in, in abstract terms, they simply uh, 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 they cut, uh, they prepare the they prepare the uh, flat uh, cut of the follow of the uh, shell, and then they heat it in some way or. or or apply some chemical reactions, and it itself it, it folds, itself folds into their box. And un unfortunately, I have forgotten to <laughs> to put here a very impressive uh, picture from the uh, from the uh, cover of uh, uh, one of the last uh, nature. Uh, Issues and just uh, they produce a beautiful cast. Uh, but uh, so uh, there is some uh, practical problem of this kind. Uh, yes, but uh, the problem that uh, uh, it turned out that uh, it's uh, very important to uh, prepare this uh, net uh, in, in terms of this uh, self-folding, uh, 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 this flat uh, uh, figure, th this flat uh, cut is called, is called net, and uh, the result is called shell. So it's uh, important to prepare this net in such a way uh, in such a form that uh, uh, you will get the maximal yield of your technological process. 
and it was uh, found that that the maximum yield is uh, occurs in the in, cita in the following situation. If you if you apply two design rules, the, the first rule is simply a geometrical one. You uh, demand that the maximal uh, uh, th 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 that the number of vertices with uh, a single edge cut should be maximum. And here is just uh, uh, just to demonstrate to you what does it mean in their terms, in standard terms of the science, what does it mean single edge cut. Here are uh, vertices uh, with single edge cut. So uh, there's a uh, 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 the number of their phases uh, in a net is the same as in shell, so it's clear. And and uh, so our aim uh, 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 will be uh, to uh, to find uh, the uh, full set of uh, nets. Uh, uh, which produces uh, this uh, um, maximum number of uh, these vertices. And then after we have uh, this, uh, 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 this set uh, uh, built, created by using this constraint, already uh, uh, we can apply any other uh, rule uh, uh, which depends on technology, actually. It turns, uh, again, it turns out that uh, by some reasons in technology they like, for example, the uh, demand, the minimal radius of observation of this net. But it's not necessary already. So we were interested in, to, in the first uh, rule, the design rule. And st step one is NP hard. And up to now, what they made, they uh, simply they generated all possible nets uh, by at random, and they choose uh, and they selected uh, of them this uh, this uh, maximal edge uh, uh, cut nets, and uh, mostly. Uh, 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 first, they started with uh, very small uh, shells, and it's uh, worked. But they uh, proceed up to now, uh, up to very recent. Uh, 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 before us, they made it uh, till already uh, rather large shells. But it turned out that the number of uh, nets is huge. I will show that it can be. 10 power 8 for other compact shells. And so uh, it's, uh, you, uh, you cannot solve uh, this problem in this way. So we, uh, we developed a very simple algorithm uh, which allowed uh, you to find this uh, uh, the, the complete set of these nets for any uh, a shell of reasonable size, and uh, if you want uh, it to be huge, then uh, our algorithm is, uh, uh, can be very easily modified, and, uh, and it uh, allows you to find uh, these nets, uh, these optimal nets with, uh, with uh, uh, probability, uh, 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 with very high probability which goes to zero. <laughs> With very high probability which goes to one. I wanted to say, <laughs> I wanted to deceive you apparently. Yes. Um, uh, yes, so that it's, uh, uh, so uh, uh, the idea is very simple. Uh, 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 the first desire uh, uh, when you have this graph is to treat it uh, as a e e each its uh, face 
uh, to treat it as a vertex as, uh, and each uh, uh, edge between these uh, shells treat it uh, to, uh, to the uh, edge, yes, so that it's uh, to uh, yes, but it turned out that it uh, doesn't work in this way, and better simply to consider uh, simply a shell graph uh, consisting uh, of its uh, vertices and uh, original vertices and original edges. And, and it turned out that uh, this design rule it simply it corresponds to finding the set of maximum leaf spanning trees of this graph. Uh, so the, the, the idea is simply almost uh, trivial. And uh, it turns out that then we can uh, make it uh, by using this idea simply uh, up to rather high, uh, uh, high size shells uh, we can find completely uh, the set. And uh, uh, this is, for example, uh, is our result for finite, uh, for rather, no, for not very large shells. And uh, <coughs> you see it's about the fraction of uh, uh, spanning trees uh, with uh, maximum leaf spanning trees. Uh, and, uh, and this is the uh, complete number of spanning trees. Uh, and you see that this, uh, uh, this, this uh, number can be, uh, this fraction can be extremely small. And what normally people made up to now, they simply, they try to simulate and, and to expect at random this, uh, and to search, and to simply one by one choosing this uh, spanning trees to find the maximum leaf spanning trees, which was very strange. So uh, uh, this, you see that for different uh, shapes for different cells. It's uh, they are, uh, this uh, curves. Uh, this the, these dots are around this line. This line is obtained analytically, kind of estimate. But so another uh, in this case, uh, this uh, is even a better agreement with this uh, uh, dots and our estimate. Uh, yes, and uh, because it was uh, just, uh, uh, we submitted it before uh, the World Soccer Cup. So we uh, was example uh, for soccer ball. And already, already we applied uh, second part uh, of the Algorithm with the uh, minimizing the minimizing the generation ratio, and uh, you see that uh, even here situation is not per quite trivial. You see that very close to zero, it's kind of a, a derivative. Uh, you can treat it as uh, as uh, infinite at zero. So uh, the optimal, this, uh, the optimal net, it corresponds to this point, is just the most uh, compact in space. And the uh, second net, uh, this is the, uh, in the middle, and this is, is the worst in the complete set of uh, this, uh, of isomorphic to each other. The, uh, nets, because we have a very large number of nets, and many of them are isomorphic. So it's of them are four thousand with maximum. So yes, uh, so I, I, 
I completed these three uh, parts of my talk, and I'm a bit shocked uh, what to say in conclusion, because, uh, because they are uh, 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 kind of orthogonal one to each other. Uh, and uh, uh, but because uh, but because of uh, these uh, nice words, uh, I would uh, conclude uh, with uh, uh, saying that this no no uh, uh, this words of uh, 1999 and 1998 are now they are uh, completely absurd. Yes, it's a, a joke. So. Uh, s thousands, uh, uh, tens or, uh, of thousands or even more of uh, uh, completely academic works about this topic, and one of them was presented in the first third of my talk. This uh, leaf uh, algorithm, you think it's the most efficient at the moment, or if you want to solve low probabilities, then minus 30? Uh, 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 no, but it's not simply efficient. It simply allows you to find it uh, completely for, 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 for any uh, reasonably uh, for any cells of reasonable size, for any cells which they use in technology. And uh, this uh, algorithm, of course, uh, first I was, it was Doc made it in a cluster, but uh, he improved and improved and improved, and now it runs uh, in this kind of uh, uh, laptops. Uh, but uh, uh, but uh, but I can only repeat that uh, it uh, it's possible to make it for uh, for very large cells by using already some uh, approximate version of this algorithm. It's uh, actually uh, we have this versions, uh, but uh, simply uh, there is no need for them just now because we solve this problem for any reasonably for practical needs. Uh, and we even tried to uh, get a patent <laughs> for this algorithm, but it's still in process. So, one, uh, I'm sorry, your second part. One of the ensembles you were showing uh, had a low outstock, had a large plateau. Yeah. Yeah. What, what is this? Uh, can you give more yeah. details on what is this uh, ensemble? How do you follow, I mean, what are the rules? What is, uh, th this is uh, a, gro a growing, let's say, this is, uh, one second, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, the growing, uh, the growing part, one second. Not easy, and uh, and and uh, it just uh, uh, the uh, the growth was based on selection, on uh, actually on selection of uh, uh, first you select random vertex, uh, uh, then you select uh, two its uh, random edges, and then you split them into two. Uh, this is. Uh, this way, but but uh, the point is that uh, this large plateau it shows that e even uh, uh, when uh, need approach uh, this uh, 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 this uh, already uh, z that uh, you can see it even in a rather small graphs because. Uh, because, for example, uh, if you uh, 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 this plot is for a, 
finite size graphs, and for all of them, they are of the same size. If you increase size of graph, you will simply have this plot uh, bigger and bigger. And if you have graph infinite, you have this plot uh, plot of infinite. But uh, for example, here already you cannot say if it will be oh, this plot of the growth curve. It's uh, simply uh, one of models. You can generate them. Question. <coughs> Just a question from data scientist for your second part of your talk. Can we imagine application of these uh, evolving manifolds for learning data manifolds? Kind of constructing growing approximators. So maybe you know such. I, I don't know. I don't know. And one point about which I didn't uh, say you. Uh, this, uh, um, uh, uh, when I speak about these triangulations, I assume that uh, I ignored uh, the sizes of this uh, of the edges. In principle, uh, when you want to triangulate any body, of course, all these uh, edges must be uh, different. I ignore this in these models, but in principle, uh, we know how to consider uh, this. But in your case, I think it's just also you uh, ignore also, yes. But uh, I don't know, I have no idea. Thank you. Thank you.